correlation does not imply causation is probably the most easily recognized logical fallacy. It occurs whenever someone sees two events that are correlated and thinks that one must have caused the other. It also goes by the names correlated base fallacy, cum hoc ergo propter hoc, and correlation proves causation. So we have three examples as usual. The first example, Thrasymachus claims, I know what makes the sun come up in the morning. Adamantus, curious as to what Thrasymachus thought of this time, asks, what is it? Thrasymachus claims, the rooster's crow. Once the rooster crows, the sun is sure to come up. And Adamantus negates this logic by saying the sun rises over the ocean, there are no roosters out there. Just because the two correlate does not mean one causes the other. In our second example, Thrasymachus thinks kangaroos are scared of him. He says, I have never seen a kangaroo, so they must be scared of me. And Adamantus claims, kangaroos were not in this area before you were born. Where you are has nothing to do with where kangaroos are. So here, Adamantus is telling Thrasymachus that Thrasymachus really does not have anything at all to do with where kangaroos are, and maybe they're scared of them, maybe they aren't, but there's no way to conclude that. In the last example, Thrasymachus claims that he is the reason the sun sets. Adamantus asks him, why do you make this claim? Thrasymachus says, because whenever I get the thought that the sun is going to set, it does. So Thrasymachus thinks his thoughts are actually controlling the sun. And Adamantus points out that the sun has been rising and setting since before both of us were born. You're just predicting the inevitable future. And obviously the sun rose and sat before Thrasymachus was alive, so really his thoughts have nothing to do with it. If he overslept one day or didn't think about it, the sun would still set at the same time.